Hey guys, this is Isaac, right back in Technic. Last time I was trying to generate paper from my table, and I couldn't get a value close enough to suggest it, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab a few more of these, and I'm going to try and get a seed, because I feel like oh, flax does not count. Flax is from one of the uh, agriculture-related mods in the pack. I'll show it off eventually. Um, okay, I think a seed is probably the same value as... Uh, string. I'm trying to remember if I even taught my table string. I think that I would have. Okay, there it is. Perfect. Um, I was having some trouble finding it with other values, but I can just convert some cane over. I literally need two, but I can just turn the rest into torches. I find the table infinitely helpful, even though there are times like that where it can be a bit frustrating because it doesn't know what you want. Um, I try and stay away from teaching it really weird things that I'll never want, like doors. Um, but I did make some things that I taught it. Like, I taught it how to make, uh, like, signs and uh, trap doors and things like that that I probably shouldn't have in retrospect, but whatever. I mean, it's not a huge deal. Obviously, I got there anyway. Okay, so you're going to need two of each dust. Hope you still have all your dust. One paper and two string. It's a pretty cheap recipe. Not what I wanted. There we go. I think it's in this order, but if it's not, I'll need to just reverse these two rows. And paper in the middle, and then two string. There we go. Talisman of Repair. Uh, the Talisman of Repair is quite cheap, like I said, and excellent. If I just put it up here and then put all my nearly broken tools in here, it will repair these just for free, over time. I'm going to go and put the wrench in here too, because I don't currently have a use for it. Yeah, so the whole point of the uh, Talisman of Repair is that now, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and watch it, but like when I come back, these two will be full, and these two will probably be getting close. Um, depends how long I let it sit. But let's go see how my Mace Raiders swing. They do make an awful racket. Alright, getting up there in the Silver Dust, Upper Dust, Tin Dust. Excellent. Now I actually want to make one more Mace Raider to speed this whole process up, so let's convert a tin into... This is going to be a hard thing to down gauge into. No, that's only one well. Okay, let me tell you what, I'll just... That's a much better way to do it. Ugh, I hate when it does that. Sometimes the table can get ahead of itself, so you can end up with a negative EMC value. I, I personally like zeroing it but you don't actually have to, to my knowledge. Okay, I need eight more refined iron. Do I have any iron anywhere? No. Well, I can cook some. I do hate to waste iron like this, but I'm not really sure that I care enough to wait for uh, the mace raiders down there to be free. And then also to macerate 8 iron, which does not go all that fast. Maceration is a fairly slow process, which is why it's good to automate it eventually. I will, but obviously I'm not quite there yet. The reason that I put 32 in is that um, it ends up being a full stack right here. So if I wasn't here taking them out constantly, I would need to uh, let the stack fill up and then come back and do it. I'm not sure if that made much sense, but hopefully you'll, you'll understand that the reason I put 32 in is so that the doubled amount over here doesn't exceed the space that it allows, because then it just won't smelt whatever's left. Probably should have built four iron furnaces up here. Two is probably not enough, but live and learn. Oh, I already have eight more. Excellent. <laughs> Completely forgot about that. Okay. Awesome. Um, still need one for the, the next circuit, but just one. Oh, is there enough left? I doubt it. I doubt it. Oh, no. <laughs> that would have been too cool. Let's just get a plank. I think planks aren't very expensive, I forget. Oh, a stick will work too. A stick works just fine. I think a stick is only half a smelt, actually, so I might need two. God, I'm making this so much harder than I have to. 
Ugh. Okay, buy two sticks. Should have just thrown a charcoal in there. Not worth the time. There we go. Okay, give me a refined iron. And there we go. Finally. Now, unless I'm mistaken, my mace raiders just finished. So let me go uh, fill them up again. And okay. First wave done. Go, go, go. Awesome. As you can tell, I'm now in a lot more wealthy, especially once I actually smelt those. Okay, machine block, refined iron. Gonna need a couple more cables, which I can totally afford. It's also possible to make rubber by getting a machine called an extractor, and then, um, putting rubber wood into it, which comes from these giant rubber trees I haven't seen yet on this world. Um, but I personally find it's more efficient to just alk the uh, sticky resin and then pull it out of the table. I use the table for essentially everything. It's a very handy resource management device. There we go. And now I can pay for my fourth excavator. Excellent, excellent. As you can see, all of these are just running from the charcoal that I originally put in here. I'm going to dump a little bit more in, but um, all of this stuff is going to need to be cooked eventually. So let's go start working on that. These are less efficient, but I just want to get a ton of furnaces running, so whatever. That silver is going to pay quite nicely. And I think I put some stuff in one of these. Maybe that was a while ago. Sixty-one still counts. And I'm gonna be building up iron dust pretty fast since I have two running it now. Obviously, all of these are just going to keep adding to my total amount of wealth um, faster than I would if I was using traditional furnaces. I'm just going to start throwing, like, packs of tin in these to just reduce the amount that I have sitting around in my inventory. Um, I love iron furnaces a lot. They're a very good price. Like, eight iron's not all that crazy in this mod, obviously. Um, iron's, like, you know, whatever. After a certain point, it's only worth 256, I think. Um... And they're just a, enough faster that you can totally tell the difference. Like, they're well balanced. We're going to end up getting a red matter furnace eventually, a black matter furnace fairly soon, actually. And black matter furnaces are just insane. Um, there's a lot of really broken things you can do without chemical exchange, especially with big collector arrays. I'm going to try and stay away from the most broken ones. I'll show you how to do them, but I'm using them in my current single player world. And honestly, it's just almost too easy to play at that point. Um, and I'm actually going to go ahead and make them my first collector now to show you how it works. But just be advised that um, collectors are incredibly powerful. Like, you won't notice at first, but once you mess around with them a little bit, they are just really, really good. Um, so, first thing it costs is a diamond block. So they're a little bit expensive to get started, nothing too bad. Um, Gonna go ahead and teach my table diamond block. They're a good kind of middle value resource once you get into the end game to alk between. Um, I know that they seem incredibly expensive now, but they're not. Um, surround it in glowstone and put a glass on top. That's not the recipe. I think this is a furnace, maybe? Maybe that's what I did wrong? Let's find out. It's been a while since I actually crafted one of these. You only really need to learn most of the recipes from the Alchemical Exchange mod once, because once you've made it, you can teach it to your table. Yeah, 82,000. That's a valuable resource. Okay, and then I'm also going to get out this jack-o'-lantern that I have. So the way that 
collectors work is you put them somewhere. Um, I'm going to put this one right here. Why not? And then this thing on top is looking for light. So whatever light level falls on it, it will receive. Put a jack-o'-lantern or a glowstone block right on top of it for maximum performance. And this block is generating EMC. So this number is just, just raw EMC. Um, it seems kind of slow, because it is. Um, but the handy thing is, I forget exactly, like you can use them to convert, yeah, there we go. Um, you can use it to make resources, like energy-based resources, by doing this. Um, but this is really slow. Um, we're eventually going to end up hooking them up in a big array, um, which will power our um, EMC generation process by using relays and energy condensers. I'll turn this one into a relay shortly, um, but I just want to go ahead and I think that gunpowder is the only level that I missed. Gunpowder is an energy resource. It, um, this process will keep upgrading the energy resource. So like it'll draw the gunpowder into, I think redstone is next, and then glowstone, and then glowstone block, and then Mobius fuel, or no, Mobius fuel, and then glowstone block, and then, uh, no, alchemical coal, glowstone box, Mobius fuel, alternalist fuel, whatever. It'll keep upgrading the energy. That's not how we're going to be using them. It's not a good way to use them. It, it's completely irrelevant, honestly. Um, I think the, yeah, gunpowder is all that I was missing. Okay. So let's go ahead and, and look, all my tools are repaired. <laughs> Wonderful, isn't it? I, I do love that functionality. Okay, so let's take this. We're going to upgrade it to a relay, which will cost obsidian, which I intelligently kept one of, or a couple, actually. Um, I'm going to pay for that obsidian with surely just some of these uh, bars that I have laying around everywhere. Actually, while I'm here, let me just go ahead and reseed this thing. I know that you guys just don't want to watch a ton of furnace management, but I'm going to have to do it all off camera, and I'd rather not waste my whole life just moving furnaces around. <laughs> or moving ores around inside furnaces, I should say. Gonna need more charcoal soon. Where's that 50 that I had? There we go. Okay, so let's get some more obsidian, uh, set that as the target, and put, I'm trying to take many silver actually, silver is very valuable. Awesome, that's more than enough. Okay, so arrange obsidian like so, glass on top, collect or blow it, that will give us the antimatter relay. Relays allow you to use the EMC to charge Klein Stars, which is helpful. I'll make a Klein Star soon. They're also just very valuable. Um, but more importantly, they allow us to link the um, collectors to a, what are they called? Like matter accumulator or something. I forget what they're called. Um, they make resources. That's literally all they do. So I'm going to need, I forget exactly what they cost. Um, it's like smooth stone and an alchemist's box, and the alchemist's box, I know, takes iron, smooth stones, like an alk. Um, it takes these three. I'm going to have to go through a couple of stage processes here. Actually, you know, I taught my table um, how to make alchemist's blocks. So, or alchemist's chests, I mean. I think I did. I think I taught it. So if I'm correct... No, they can't possibly cost that much. Okay, I never taught it alchemy chess, which I should have. Well, we'll get to that shortly. For now, um, okay, the chest itself. Yeah, I, I do actually need a chest. Dang, this is all terrible. Okay, go ahead and convert all that over. And then turn a tin into a chest. And some torches? I want torches. And maybe, can I get some arrows with what's left? This is going to be so hodgepodge. Okay, I think I can make it now. <laughs> the chest. Two of those. 
two of these. I think this is it. I think I just rearranged these again. Okay, there we go. Alchemical chest. That was awful. Um, there we go. Now I'll never have to actually just make one again. Okay, now take this for diamonds and for smooth stone. No, it's not that. Um, what if it is... One second. For obsidian? I could have sworn it was one of those two. There we go. Okay. Energy condenser. I am awful at this game. Alright, so to sum it up, I know that I've kind of lost people there, but if you put an energy condenser, connect it to an antimatter relay, and then I'm just going to use some diamonds to buy a uh, something else. Uh, collector. Should be not much more expensive. There we go. Ugh, I know this is awful. I'm sorry. Okay, if I have a collector hooked up to an energy source, like the light, um, the light doesn't actually have to be right above it, like this torch would give it light, but this is the fastest, connected to a relay, connected to um, a condenser, and then I put something right here, the condenser will start building EMC towards building that object. So this number will keep going up, that's being generated just by the light, it's eventually going to make a diamond. And if I dump any items in here, like for instance these silver ingots, it'll eat those up and turn them directly into EMC. So if I just drop all that stuff in there, it'll build up the little diamond number. I can also just drop energy resources in. So this is how you convert back and forth between energy and uh, matter. Um, so just like any junk you have laying around, you can just throw in there and it will uh, do its best to turn it into diamonds. So eventually we're going to have a much faster version and a much larger version of this. Obviously you can surround the chest in these in a big array flower shape, which I'll show you. Um, but we did quite a lot accomplished this episode, so hopefully I can come back next time once all my macerations done and uh, start building my real house. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you here next time.